We're Maggie and Brad, and we've been full-time RVing since 2016. Join us and our sidekick Paco as we explore incredible places in the U.S. and beyond. Hey guys! Hey! We are at Bullard's Beach State Park in lovely Bandon, Oregon. Yeah, we backtracked just a little bit down the 101 from the Coos Bay area, and we're going to be here for about a week. Bandon is a super charming little town. There's breweries, there's great seafood, there's amazing beaches, and we feel really lucky that we snagged a spot in this state park. Some of the sites are full hookup here, and some of them are partial hookups. We are in a partial hookup site, but there's a dump station we can use when we leave. It is a really great day today, so we are getting the e-bikes out. We're going to ride downtown and check out the creamery. Spare a moment to stop licking. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll just drip. That's the danger with the cones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> Fish was created by the nonprofit arts and education organization Washed Ashore. They collect garbage from beaches and create beautiful but also haunting works of art to highlight the plastic waste that enters our oceans. The group has created over 70 sculptures which have been shown all over the U.S., including at the United Nations Plaza and the Smithsonian. Our friend Alex Cipolli wrote an excellent article in the New York Times about Washed Ashore, which we will link to in the video description below. These are all entries in the annual Port of Bandon Boardwalk Art Show. It's a mix of professional and amateur artists, mostly from around southwestern Oregon. The theme this year was Gardens Under the Sea. So we got the bikes down onto the beach, stumbled across some seals out on the rocks. And yeah, this is out at Coquille Point. Coquille Point, that's right. Yeah. We are down here at low tide, and it feels like you could easily toss a stone over to those seals. Yeah. Just do not disturb them. <laughs> Remember that. Always uh, give them plenty of space. We had a chat with a guy on a bike down here and he said that there are other exit points down the beach and we're just loving it so we're gonna bike further down the beach. Yeah, I forget where we came in but we were north and now we're gonna bike south past Face Rock and there's an exit at 152. Marker 152. It's a kind of a misty hazy day it was so sunny earlier um, but it's great to be out here. It's just a three mile bike ride here within the state park down to the lighthouse. And so I'm gonna head down there, see the sights while Brad finishes out his work day. The 
Oregon coast is especially known for sneaker waves. So if you come out on the jetty, and it's anywhere even close to high tide, just be very careful. And especially if you see the ground wet, you should assume the waves will crash up there still. For lunch, we picked up some of Tony's Crab Shack's famous fish tacos. Yeah. <laughs> and naturally gluten-free. Yep. And it seems like maybe homemade shells. Yeah, it, the shells are really good. They're um, they're kind of soft, but also crispy. Like maybe fried? Or, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. They're really good. It's fantastic. Yeah. Our friends Jesse and Steve are coming over to visit today, and we are planning to go uh, at low tide to the Face Rock scenic viewpoint. Get down on the beach, there's giant sea stacks and sea caves, and there might even be some tide pools. Thank you. 